Hi everyone! It's been a couple weeks since I did a book haul, like I didn't do one for the last Rewind and Review post, um, but I decided it was time to do one again, and I'm really excited to share all the books I got. I don't think there's nearly as many as I expected, mostly because this week I had three snow days, and a couple, like, on Thursday we had a delay till noon, and then Friday we had a delay till 10. So I haven't really gone to class much this week, and since our post office is not essential staff, they weren't open until Thursday, so I didn't really get much mail until then, and Thursday and Friday. But I did get a lot of books the previous week, and I've gotten several for review through NetGalley. Um, so I'll start with those. From Delacorte Books for Young Readers, I got The Trouble with Destiny by Lauren Morrill. And this is her third book, I believe, and it's coming out in December. So it's going to be a while yet till I review it, but I'm really excited because I quite enjoyed being Sloane Jacobs. So I'm thinking this will be a good one, too, especially because it's like pitched as A Midsummer Night's Dream meets Pitch Perfect, and that sounds amazing to me. I also got Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, and that's via Net Galley and Disney Hyperion. And that's another one I'm really excited for because I liked Tamara's first two books, Time Between Us and Time After Time. And I'm thinking it'll be really fun and good. And it was one of the books on my first 15, 2015 reads post. So. And then I got two from Macmillan and like one of their a couple of their imprints. I got Rebel Mechanics by Shanna Swenson, which is apparently kind of like steampunk historical fiction. It sounds really cool. And then Devoted by Jennifer Matthew. Matthew, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Jennifer. As I've said before, I'm not very good at name pronunciation unless I know for sure. Um, but that one is, Devoted is kind of, I guess, like a look at the Quiverful movement and which is kind of, a lot of people believe that's what the Duggars are part of from 19 Kids and Counting. And I really, like, I'm not like a huge fan of the Duggars, but I do like their show and they, like, their kids aren't bad kids at all, so that's why I appreciate their show. Um, but I don't agree with, like, all of their choices and whatnot. So I think that'll book that book will be interesting, and I'm really grateful for everything I received for review. So thank you to Ned Galley and Delacorte and Disney Aquarian and Macmillan. And then I got a couple physical books for review. Um, one was from Read Between the Lines, and I got A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. I've already read it, and I've already sent it on to another blogger because we decided to trade for like trade a few arcs, and you'll see a couple of the ones I'm getting from her. I got from her in just a few minutes, but one will be coming, I think, next week, and so you'll see it in the next haul. Um, but A Court of Thorns and Roses, my review for that will be going up in mid-April, I believe, and I was not a bit as big of a fan of it as others in the blogger community, but it wasn't bad. I just prefer Thorn of Glass. And then from Bloomsbury, I got Hold Me Like a Breath by Tiffany Schmidt. Isn't that cover pretty? And I think this arrived at my house back in, like, January. But my mom wasn't able to send it until February, so I just got it now, and it comes out in May, so I'll read and review it then. Thank you, Bloomsbury. And speaking of other books I got from my mom, also in the package was one that I bought, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. This book was so good, guys, and I love, love, love the cover. It's so, like, they redesigned it, and this is the redesign, it's gorgeous, like, you can see all the stitchery there is like kind of embossed and full cover. And then underneath, look at that. I'm actually going to be meeting Jasmine in about, I think, two and a half weeks at this point, and I'm really excited about that because I wasn't able to make it to any of her tour stops in Cincinnati or anything, but she's coming to Lexington. And it's the bookstore that I've gone to a lot, and she's going to be there for a panel. And so I'm going to get this signed, I'm going to get a couple copies from some other people in the blogger community, and it's just going to be really great fun. I also received a heck ton of other books. I won one from a Twitter giveaway, and I haven't won a book in a long time, so this was actually really fun. I got Soul Print by Megan Miranda, um, and that was from my friends, Our Fiction, and her Twitter giveaway. And that was... That arrived I think last week. So I haven't, like this was, there's a stack of books I could choose from I chose this one and I haven't heard much about it besides like I think one of my blogger friends reviewed it but we'll see what I think. Um, I'll read it soon hopefully. I'm not planning to review it but I like it. 
So thank you to Kristen for my forensic fiction. And then I have a giant stack here. Not all from one person, though. That'd be crazy. Um, on loan from Alexia from um, Adventures in Reading, and I think Wonderland of Reading is the other blog she's a co-blogger for. I got A Matter of Heart by Amy Fellner Domini, something like that. Um, it's about swimming and an athlete, and we'll see what I think. So thank you for the loan, Alexia. From Arc Cycling, I got Roomies by Sarah Zar and Tara Altagrando. Yeah. I'm kind of out of it today, guys. It's been a long week, and I'm not used to like having to do anything besides lay around and read. But anyways, I got Roomies, and I had the hardcover of this, but I really wanted an ARC because it was one I enjoyed, and so thank you to Hannah and ARC Cycling. And then I traded for three books with other bloggers. Two of them came from the friend that I mentioned that I'm sending. I sent a quarter of Thrones and Roses to. Her name is Callie. And I got two arcs that I'm really, really excited about. One is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. And yes, I have a hardcover of this. And so you know, I have a paperback copy of this, but I needed an arc because this was one of like my top reads of 2014. And it's just so good. So, good to Kelly. And the other one I got from her was Lady Thief by AC Galgan. And I'm excited about this one, too, because I have an arc of Lionheart, and I really love the Scarlet Trilogy, so I'm excited to read Lionheart, and I'm excited to have an arc of Lady Thief, because this was a really great book, and it's one that I want to throw against a wall, not because it was bad, but just because, you know, it made me mad, because of characters making stupid choices, or things happening to characters, and I'm like, no, don't hurt my babies. So there's that. And then the last arc I got is one I will be reviewing. It's Wrong About the Guy by Claire Lezebnik. It's, she's done retellings of various Jane Austens. I think she's done Pride and Prejudice and Mansfield Park and I think Persuasion. And now this one is a retelling of Emma. So I kind of knew I needed to get a copy of it because Emma is one of my favorite books ever. Not just because of my name, but that kind of plays into it. And I'm excited to see what a modernization of, this, of that book will do because there aren't too many retellings of Emma. One of my favorites is this Brassologist by Christina Springer. But hopefully this one will be just as good or even better. So that's it for my book haul. That was a lot of books, surprisingly, and I'm excited to see what I get in the next few weeks, and I will see you guys then. Bye!